Several months ago, we put a video together that showed how to measure FM deviation quite accurately using the Bessel Null Method. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Now, today's short video will just show how to get a good estimate of deviation simply using a spectrum analyzer. Okay, the setup here is uh, I've got the transceiver's output going into uh, the bird wattmeter here and then being terminated into a 50 ohm dummy load. This wattmeter has an RF sampler in it. The sampler output is being sent to the spectrum analyzer input. The transmitter is set to uh, 146.52 megahertz. So that's the center frequency of the spectrum analyzer. I have the span set to 100 kilohertz. So when I key the transmitter, we can see on the wattmeter that I'm uh, putting out about 500 milliwatts. Got the HT set to low power and I can see the spectrum of the signal on the spectrum analyzer. So the next step is to set the resolution bandwidth on the spectrum analyzer uh, such that you're going to encompass uh, much of the uh, sidebands of uh, the modulation. You know, go you know, 20 or 25 dB down on either side of center. And we can see that we're probably occupying you know, about uh, you know, maybe 5 kilohertz on either side of the carrier here. Just a, a rough estimate. So you want to set the resolution bandwidth to, say, at least 5 kilohertz. Okay, so we'll reach over to set bandwidth. Take the resolution bandwidth, set that to 5 kilohertz. Now, of course, that's going to make a much wider trace here, but now what we can see is we're just going to be moving that spectrum around, and, uh, and now we can take advantage of putting some min hold and max hold traces on. Okay, so now we'll go to uh, the spectrum traces, and let's turn on a max hold trace and turn on a min hold trace. And now, uh, as we talk into the radio, we can see we're tracing out effectively the envelope of where the uh, frequency deviation is moving. And you want to keep doing this um, until you really don't push those lines any further. And then uh, we'll stop the instrument and make the measurement. Okay, so now with uh, maximum and minimum excursion kind of uh, picked up there on the spectrum, let's put on some markers here. Uh, let me turn off the peak marker and we'll turn on some manual markers here and uh, what I'll do is I'll move those manual markers and what we're going to do is measure the distance from you know the min hole trace to the max hole trace along a common power level so let's just pick say this minus 30 dBm level and if I just move this marker over here until uh, we are right at that crossing level uh, so it's right about there and now we'll move the other marker over till the max hold trace is crossing that same radical. And uh, it looks like that's right about there. And uh, let's set the markers to read delta. And I see I'm reading uh, 4 kilohertz. So that tells me at the level that I was speaking into the microphone of that radio, uh, that is the peak to peak deviation is 8 kilohertz, which means that the peak deviation is about 4 kilohertz. And that's pretty close to uh, what we had measured a few months ago with the Bessel Null method. Although I think I deviated it a little bit harder uh, because I was using a signal generator and I think we measured four and a half kilohertz. But this gives you a good way to uh, get a, a reasonable estimate very easily and quickly uh, using a spectrum analyzer. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.